Did you know that high-end plastic tea bags can release over 11 billion microplastic particles into hot water? Plastic in my drink? Um, no thank you. Microplastics are defined as small pieces of plastic debris that are less than five millimeters in length. These can be invisible to the naked eye, by the way. We use and discard so much plastic into the world and waterways that it finds its way into our food chain. Scientists are still trying to figure out the health effects of microplastics on our bodies, but studies suggest that microplastics can create toxicity within the organs and tissues, and even increase the risk of cancer. Now, I love tea so much, so I started thinking, what other daily foods are being polluted with plastic? Let's look around my kitchen and find out, and see what we can do to avoid them. Let's start with tea bags because there's more to it than the crazy number up top. Premium tea bags, like this one, that are sealed in a plastic mesh pyramid can also release approximately 3 billion nano and over 11 billion micro-sized plastic particles into 203 degree Fahrenheit water, according to McGill University researchers. But with tea, there's an easy solution. Just stop using plastic bags, switch over to loose leaf teas, or if you buy packaged tea, make sure they're in paper tea bags. As someone who cooks daily and uses salt on everything, I'm not happy to learn this. A study from 2015 revealed that one kilogram of sea salt can contain more than 600 microplastics. In fact, 90% of table salt brands sampled from around the world were shown to contain microplastics. You and I might actually be ingesting up to 2,000 bits of microplastics a year through salt consumption. If you want to limit your exposure to microplastics and salt, you might want to consider using rock salt. A study published in 2018 showed that different types of commercial salt samples had a range of microplastic content, with rock salt having the lowest upper range of microplastics per kilogram, lake salt coming in second, and sea salt leading the pack. Are you a fan of seafood? Then you might not be a fan of this next statistic. Mollusks such as mussels, oysters, and scallops have some of the highest recorded plastic levels. Studies have shown that mollusks can contain up to 10.5 microplastics per gram. Crustaceans such as crab, shrimp, and lobster can contain up to 8.6 microplastics. And fish like salmon and tuna can contain up to 2.9 microplastics per gram. If you want to avoid this much exposure, there are other options. For example, you could try to eat wild-caught salmon or mercury-free whitefish. There's no promise it will be plastic-free, but a 2018 study from a Canadian university suggests that they may be less contaminated with plastic. Sorry to keep bringing you bad news about beer, y'all. But not only is beer's taste being affected by climate change, it's also being polluted by microplastics. A study published in 2018 revealed that microplastics were found in 12 unnamed American beers that used water from the Great Lakes. On average, a liter of beer contained four particles of microplastic, but the worst brand contained roughly four particles per liter. Most of this plastic comes from the water supply used to process the beer. So if you want to avoid this, you would have to do your research and find out how your local brewery or favorite brand filters their water and beer. Our plastic consumption is so high that it's now polluting our waterways and oceans. So anything sourced from these waters will probably contain microplastics, including water itself, obviously. Researchers estimate that globally, there are 14 million tons of microplastic on the ocean floor. When it comes to drinking water, an investigation conducted in 2017 revealed that 83% of tap water samples from around the world contain plastic fibers. Bottled water isn't necessarily clear of microplastics either. In fact, 93% of popular bottled water brands were found to contain evidence of microplastic contamination. Researchers analyzed 259 bottles from around the world and found an average of 325 microplastic particles per liter of water. And what's the solution? Well, don't drink bottled water. Use a reusable bottle, like a glass mason jar, or an insulated bottle like this one. You will reduce the amount of plastic overall. And if you have a filter for your bottle, faucet, or even pitcher, you'll further reduce the risk of plastic contamination. In doing research for this story, I found plastic is actually quite widespread within our food chain. This is just a small sample of where microplastics are found in our food systems. If we tried to cover them all, this video might never end. Like, I bet you wouldn't expect an apple to contain microplastics. 
This list is just a primer of some of the most common and shocking foods that most of us enjoy that contain microplastics. But the moral of the story here though is that industries are overproducing plastic and we need to reduce the amount of plastic in our lives because it will end up in your food and ultimately stuck inside your body.